Welcome back to Learning Analytics Tools course. In this week, we will continue discussing about uh, diagnostic analytics and algorithms in that, especially clustering. So, what is clustering? Clustering is uh, grouping a similar behavior, uh, the items which has a similar behavior uh, in a clusters. Uh, for example, if there are uh, say 100 students is taking class and uh, their behavior based on the behavior, their background profile, you can group them. So, that is called clustering or grouping the students based on their similarity in behavior, especially this behavior is uh, different from the other group. So, if you have two groups, the, the student in group 1 will have a different behavior from the group 2, that is how you create the clusters. In learning environments, we can use students interaction with the system, uh, the numerical data to create clusters. So, you have to convert the data into frequency, the time span, those kind of informations then that can be used to cluster. Also, we can use the action sequences to cluster, but that is not uh, discussed in this course. So, let us see how to use the interaction behavior uh, in the terms of numerical values can be clustered. Before that, let us uh, discuss what is clustering and what are the, the famous clustering algorithms. There are two major category uh, of clustering algorithms, uh, there are more, but the two are very, very important and major. The one is based on centroid, uh, you might have seen the clusters uh, they are creating uh, using centroids. For example, in this picture, uh, you see there are three clusters, uh, this picture is credited from Wikipedia, so here is the link. In this week, we will see example algorithm for one centroid based and one example algorithm for the connectivity based. So, before we jump into what is clustering and uh, uh, the algorithms in clustering in the two main categories, uh, can you think of why we need clustering for data from learning environments? Like you can choose any learning environment like a classroom environment or a, a MOOC or tele anything. So, choose one of the learning environment and list down at least two applications of where clustering will be useful, why we have to do clustering. It is not that I want to do cluster based on students interaction with MOOC, but why? What is the information you want to use after uh, creating clusters? Please pause this video uh, after you list it down and assume to continue. So, the clustering of learners based on the interaction, for example, uh, students interacting with uh, MOOC or tele, based on the interaction you can cluster then you can use that to provide a feedback. So, instead of providing a uh, same feedback to all learners, uh, you know this uh, learners vary by 3 or 4 clusters and you can give personalized feedback to certain cluster group. You know there are some students who might be uh, spending much time in reading uh, materials and uh, taking quiz instead of watching any videos. For those learners, uh, you might give uh, feedback saying that, hey, why can't you go and take a uh, look at the videos? So, those kind of feedback can go to those users when they were not able to um, uh, give the answers to their quiz questions. For some learners who are not really interested in reading or doing any simulation, they just watch videos and try to answer questions. For them you can say why can't you try simulators or some read materials or some learners who do not care anything just directly go to assignment questions, try to answer them and complete the week's assignment and go for next week. For them you can give a different kind of feedback, right? So, you can provide a feedback if you cluster the students based on their behavior, the interaction with the system. Also, uh, we can use this clustering uh, to provide adaptive content uh, based on the students interaction, you might give a hint or a new uh, video or new course material, that is also possible. And uh, there is other application of clustering, it is called uh, e-learning materials. Um, there are a lot of uh, e-learning content available. We can uh, go and crawl all the e-learning content and curate it and uh, you can automatically classify them into uh, uh, topic wise or concept wise. So, if you have those things the system can automatically pick uh, the e-learning content based on the topic you are interested or concept you are interested. So, that is also possible. So, yeah clustering can be used uh, to uh, cluster the students behavior uh, based on the interaction with the system or you can also content can be clustered or other things can be clustered in the system, ok. So, in this uh, video we saw what is clustering and why it is uh, needed for learning environments. Uh, in our next video we will talk about one type of clustering algorithm and we will discuss in detail. Thank you.